Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to discuss what is the most challenging thing that you may face working as a data scientist or in a data science team. Now this video is very much important because you probably may be thinking, okay, the most challenging thing may be the domain knowledge or implementing of the product that we are, or how we are integrating AI into it, right? This may be the most challenging thing. But apart from this, guys, uh, I want to mention one very important thing is that what you're going to do with that particular application with whatever AI techniques you're using or ML or DL techniques that you're using, right? And the main thing is that how you're going to generate the revenue. Yes, uh, probably you have heard we use AI techniques where we need to automate some of the things, some of the manual tasks. Yes, cost will be reduced over there. This is the task. Suppose if you really want to add some more features into AI products or the products that is already been built by the company, there you'll be able to use AI techniques, machine learning techniques. Before going ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by Unacademy. Unacademy and CodeChef has come up with its biggest learning platform, which is best at practicing problem and coding context, coming together to help you learn and become better at problem solving and programming skills. And guys, we all know that how important is competitive programming and it will help you to ca keep track of your preparation continuously test skills level so that you can evaluate your progress in an academy mock test which gives you a detailed results analysis help you to understand which specific area improvement is required and this is completely for free this course provide you the right kind of preparation and guidance and structured learning for every level of programmers whether you are just starting your coding journey as a beginner or if you are an intermediate or an advanced programmer and want to get even better not just that but you'll also get the access to this best educator out there these guys themselves have been high performing competitive coders and have been or are still a part of the co best companies in the world here we have the summit batch which can help you increase your chances of cracking international coding competitions and drastically improving your problem solving skills if you really want to know more about this all the information in the link is given in the description of this particular video but just understand whatever techniques you are going to implement it that will require some amount of cost that will require some amount of server that will require some amount of resources so what is the main thing the main challenging thing is that how we are going to generate the revenue with whatever techniques of AI that you are going to use in your products. This is the most important thing. The reason that why I'm saying you guys, because in my previous company, I've pitched so many ideas, so many ideas in front of my head, in front of my managers, uh, head of the analytics teams over there. Finally, they just asked me that how we are going to generate the revenue because whatever idea you're going to pitch that may probably take you around six to seven months of time to implement it so how you are going to generate the revenue that is the main concern with respect to that and because of that most of the ideas that i had pitched was scrapped i i had to scrap that particular idea because yes we could not generate any revenue from that because suppose implementing suppose you want to implement an ai thing and probably give it to the client right the client should be able to give you some money for that right he should be at least it should be a subscription plan it, it can be any kind of subscription plan or something like that where he's buying that particular plan he's using that particular ai product that is the most important thing and why will the client or the person or the end user pay for that unless and until it is not beneficial why he will pay for that that is the most important thing now let me take a very good example for you suppose you are creating an app uh, which basically says a person based on various information right based on his height weight what you want to achieve probably they may select or uh, they, they may make you a diet plan and they may give you now if you're trying to create this kind of app with the help of machine learning techniques just imagine how can you generate the revenue from this particular app how can you because this is the important thing suppose tomorrow you are pitching this particular project in front of the head in front of the managers ahead of the analytics team in front of the various stakeholders at the end of the day what are you going to do with this particular app okay what 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 achieve what what is the achievement that you are trying to do that you have already told but how you are going to monetize it how you are going to generate the revenue that is the major major important thing and that is where many people fail I've seen people having millions of ideas in their heads. You know, they come up with some amazing thing with respect to the implementation. 
but again the final goal is how you're going to generate the revenue what you're trying to automate are you trying to save the cost are you adding some new features in the product even though you're adding new features in the product that product may be used by someone but is it generating a new revenue and right now there are so many startups who are working in this kind of products and through which they are generating the revenue now i'll give you the same example whatever i discussed about this app which was actually making a customized diet plan based on your features like weights height uh, you know your how much uh, movement you make of it with respect to your body how much exercise you do based on that or what is the target that you want to achieve right based on that they may give you a diet plan suppose i've created an app but how you're going to monetize it how you're going to generate the revenue i'll add one simple feature i'll try to tie up with swiggy zomato or with various restaurants who will be providing those kind of customers diet okay now through this way through this way i'm integrating with the third party hotels i'm integrating with the third party companies who are actually delivering this kind of food and i may my app may probably take 10% of the total delivery right 10% of the cost of the total delivery like that and that is how swiggy and zomato have also come right they are delivering the things and they are actually taking their cut right now by using this health app where they are providing you with a customized diet plan now by adding this particular features where they are integrating with companies where they are integrating with hotels and they are providing you food and now they are generating the revenue now this is one way this is one way you have created an amazing app and you are able to generate the revenue suppose tomorrow you want to uh, you want to create a ai car the ai car should be automatically be able to control the ac's various things various sensors this cost can be put up additionally on the car right and that is how if they want that specific feature so so you have various variants of cars also right if you are going to add some more features your price will be increasing right just imagine guys there's so many use cases there's so many ideas which you should actually come up with right and trust me tomorrow if you are going into a startup if you are working in any company and if you pitch in front of them a specific idea finally they will ask you how you're going to generate the revenue because understand that you will take somewhere around 6 to 7 months you may take around 1 year to implement that particular product and it will be difficult it will not be that just easy you have to invest a lot of resources right there will be some expenditure that will be put and based on that particular expenditure you probably have to create uh, you have to generate the revenue for them then only the stakeholders will be interested trust me unless and until the stakeholders are not interested they will not give an approval for that particular project even though you have an amazing idea but you don't have an idea how to generate the revenue right so nowadays you will be seeing this kind of apps a lot ai apps where they are creating this and there will be some techniques how to do it the best way whatever platform they are creating nowadays they are actually trying to integrate with advertising platforms you'll be able to see you, you try to use some apps which has ai stuffs into it right there you'll be able to see some ads also so there are various ways how you can generate the revenue and this is the most important factor yes uh, in my previous videos i have also told that domain knowledge is important how you are going to implement it and all but if you go one step higher if you go one step higher the what i am talking about domain knowledge that is all implementation of that specific app right it is the implementation of that specific app it is not it, it is it is the event that will come in the later time but the main thing is that when you are pitching the idea in order to get that approval you have to tell them how you are going to generate the revenue what is your future forecast for the next 5 years i have pitched lot of ideas guys in my life and every time it has got rejected not not every time but most of the time it has got rejected because i did not had that thing uh, you know how how the revenue generation will come but later on trust me i have pitched so many good ideas also in front of my team and members where i have given them this particular solution this is how i have learned each and every stage i have learned in this particular way it was pretty much amazing you know that that kind of experience getting that particular experience is pretty much unique now this is the most important thing most challenging work in a data science team even though you are a technical architect you are a data scientist even though you are pitching in front of your technical architect he'll just scrap your idea if he, if you don't have a long term vision right now netflix is one example i'll tell you about netflix right netflix also uses a recommendation system previously the recommendation system was not that good now they are continuously improving this recommendation system 
this is this is something that you are you are adding some incremental functionalities in the same product because there are people who are using subscription plan for that and they are using those recommendation system that is fine for them any anyhow they are generating the revenue right now similarly there are some other apps which would be working more on subscription basis and suppose they have used an ai module if you select that ai module they may charge you another subscription for that and it may probably you may require it you know so the major thing is that reducing the cost right suppose you are doing some manual activity you are requiring a lot of resources you can reduce the cost with the with the projects that you are coming up with definitely the company or the stakeholders will give an approval for that the second thing is that if you are using some incremental additional in in your ai product that is already been created that also they will approve it if and only if it is very very good the third thing is that the anything that you are creating ai things that you are creating ai ai application that you are creating you know that has the capability to generate the revenue one very good example guys you you have seen you have heard of anpr where they are doing license plate detection sorry they are doing the play, number plate detection and all by taking that number plate detection they are directly capturing they are providing that information to the government who is over speeding how they should uh, take the fine and all so, so many things are happening and that is a third party company where they are providing that in the form of api ha huh. one more way is that you create some kind of services like uh, i give a, i have given in the example of anpr right where they are doing the number plate detection you provide that as an api to the team to any party uh, to any companies who want to use that particular technology right that way also company is actually earning money they are generating the income right you create a services it may be object detection face detection you create multiple services nowadays many startup are doing that right object detection face detection all different different kind of detections algorithms are there you provide that as an api even microsoft azure right aws google cloud they all are doing google is also doing this thing they are providing that as an api to the third party to the front end user so that they will be able to use it to companies you know and they are using it very much properly you can also create machine learning as a services whatever techniques you have implemented you provide that as a services it may be with respect to domain specific finance domain retail domain e-commerce domain you create a generic framework wherein you will be able to implement lot of solutions so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye